Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden Wilds DLC where we're going to finish up the quest we started. I think we are. Oh, I was like, what's this thing they've selected for me? But yes, we're gonna go over here. Whoa. We gotta find Chieftain Man and and um challenge him <laughs> for the chieftain rights. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow out there. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warak. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. They must be so... Look, she looks so cold. Now I see. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum. Brother. Oh, snap. Brother and sister. This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. Bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet, part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. <laughs> oh, someone's gonna die here and I'm gonna be really sad about it. Family drama aside, What's this challenge meant to be, anyway? You and Aratok will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. Oh. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. It, about this has been it so might hard. be easy. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. Aurea, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I underestimated you. And Aratok. I won't make that mistake again. We'll see you at the Frost figures then. Oh my gosh, her brother's gonna die. Cause she's like, he forgives me eventually, always. And of course he's gonna die and so, he's gonna forgive her on his deathbed. to take charge of a new hunting band. Well, oh, look, she's gone from being a Nora outcast to um, challenging for a Banuk leadership position. And since, especially since I'm playing this pretty early on in the game, it's happening pretty early. Let's see where? Yeah, we are. I figured. I figured we we're gonna head off to the right. We'll probably at some point have to go in here for a main quest type thing. Wait, what? Oh, this is the young Werak Hunters. Why is that still selected? Nope. This is a main quest. Why is it not? Uh, no. Where is it? Um, what is it called on the map? For the Werak. Freaking. 
It's a side quest? Um, I kind of worry that it might be... I guess I can still play around, even if I do this. I'm just kind of, I was kind of worried that, um, you know, I don't necessarily want it to end, like, super fast. It's all of a sudden it's going to be like, you can go to the Thunderdome, or drum, and finish the main story. And I'm going to be like, what? <laughs> that was fast. Breeze through the trees. Yeah, you better not while you're here. It'll just make you sad. I do want to do some of these side quests, though. Like, I've always been, like, I, I love seeing the different things about the different cultures. And this is one of the ways to see more about the banoot. Oh my gosh! Oh no, 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 no! I was like, I swear I hear the tall neck. I didn't realize I was walking right in its path. That is the one thing that will actually insta-kill you in this game, is getting- well, there are probably other things, but <laughs> the one thing that will for sure insta-kill you, no matter what level you're at, is getting stepped on by the tall I remember when I first saw- I think it was like, maybe not the first tall neck I saw, but one of them. I swear it was one of the ones in Karja land. Okay, the frost figure should be just up there. I was just like, oh this is so cool, and running around underneath it, and then I totally got mashed. Totally got squished into goo. And it surprised me so much. Oh, we're talking to Rhea, must be close. Like I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just figured it would like push you aside. <laughs> nope. It squished me. Please make peace now. Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. This is very selfish of me. Will you let us go to Thunderstrom? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get home with this. So be it. I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground. Enough! Let us begin. To hunt, to strive. That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this, so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well... Yes. But as Challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. Alright, gotta 
<laughs> Race to the first challenge site. Looks okay. Like a few ways to go up, and those rock paintings mark the path. So this is stressful, giving me a time limit. Okay, up we go. I realize that I will probably kill the machines quickly, given that I am playing on easy, but still, racing to a finish line is not my strong suit. And also, like, truly, like, this feels really weird, because, like, being the chieftain, like, you, you are responsible for other people, like, you know what I mean? Like, to take that from him just so that I can get into this place feels very odd. Come on, any more time's wasting. Because, yeah, I mean, besides, I'm sure he doesn't just mean his responsibility to his people, but like his responsibility for like just the overall like safety and like management of whatever group you're in. Like, I'm, I don't know these people, I don't know their ways. <laughs> And Aloy is not the type to like become a chieftain and stay in one place. Like she's 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 not thinking through the end game here. <laughs> Hi. All right, challenger. You need to take out the herd below. The whole thing. Every machine. The whole thing. The herd. Okay. Can do that. I hate those things. What happened to you? I dropped the ladder for you. Climb on up and launch a marker. Where? Oh. I can't believe they're actually helping me. They don't want an outlander to be in right here. Here we go. Now climb the ridge and launch your balloon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is I wonder if there is actually a way to fail this. Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Doesn't look like it. Looks like you could repel point to the next challenge. You could probably take your time and you wouldn't be in trouble. Ahead, challenger. Oh boy. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. Oh, okay. Right. Two dead bellbacks coming up. Is that another dead Talmic out there? Line and work your way down to the valley. Take the zip line. This one. Oh my gosh. Storm's kicking up. Can't see much. 
Like I'm not designed. Like I, she does. She does have snow training. Obviously, the Nora live in a fairly high, harsh environment. But they at least have like the little valley. You know, and they have like a. They have some more temperate Almost zones. Down. It's not just straight up ice and snow. All right, to the last challenge. What's in there? Mm hmm. <laughs> Something's wrong. My kin should be here. Driving in our final quarry. They're right behind us! <laughs> oh boy. That one's been damaged at least. They gave it a good fight. Three of them. Oh my gosh. It's okay, I have a fancy gun. I think it's... what the heck? I think it's not weak to electricity. can at least do that. Ow. Ow. <laughs> level I just reached level 23 and now I'm reached Frostclaws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. You saw what she did. She defeated the machines. Not I. It is proven. She is the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. There's a whole No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Yeah, I was like, you don't get to make me a pawn and then, like, only pawn me around on this. I'm the chieftain now. Thunder's drum awaits. <laughs> There's a camp at its base, Long Notch, it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I mean, I may not know anything. I don't know. There's like a whole slew of like cultural implications here that I don't know that Aloy has no idea. <laughs> like, like ritualistic phrases and stuff, you know, that I... <gasps> and a weapon like our talk. What? I guess the chieftain gets the chieftain's gear. Oh, and now it's long enough. What? Nothing left to keep me from the strong. Oh my gosh, I get it. I get new stuff. Hmm. And oh, that's because right, his weapon did look kind of different. Ooh, that's so cool. Oh, sick! What? Let's see, resist fire. Nothing really has fire out here. Resist melee. That'll be good. And perhaps, oh, this is the one that makes health recovery over time, like the other little one. Okay. That's super dope, honestly. 5%, that's it? Well. Hmm. Uh, what does this do? Powerful ice throw attack within a short range, dealing high. So it's like my Storm Slayer, but it's for ice. You get a bunch of like gun type weapons. Oh, by the yeah, no, I was this whole time. I'm like, oh, it's like an addle addle. No, it's not. Absolutely not. It's just a gun. It's a real gun. I don't know why. There was something. I swear that maybe it was in Forbidden West where there was a weapon that sounded similar to an addle addle. But I might be getting things mixed up in my old age. Look at all bringing all these. So many skill points all at once. Uh, is there any more? Nope. 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 Don't care about that. Critical hits deal more damage. That's good. That's good. I like that. Uh, sure. I only started using that towards the end of my playthrough last time. Or like this most recent time when I did the new game plus. Mm -hmm. My goodness gracious. What am I looking at? I want to look at quests. I could do the chieftain quest now. Begin your ascent to Thunderstrom. Firebreak. Oh, I guess the DLC quests would count only as side quests, wouldn't they? Not main quests. Okay, that makes sense. Hunters 3. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Yes. I will... Oh, while I am here, my goodness gracious. Oh, there was this, 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 in here. What? I'll find a use for you. It's just a... There's gotta be something else, it's not just a... It's just a little tunnel? Okay. Need to get up high so I can try to find this pigment. Hmm. Oh, it's a plant. Cool can use. Okay. Found it. Excellent. There's another one up there, but I don't know how to get up there at this point. Ooh, maybe I'll really fast and it's probably something I just gotta climb. Oh my gosh. Maybe not. Maybe not. I thought I'd just have to climb. Oh, it was maybe something. No. No, I don't think I got up there during the run around here. I came up this way. I 
thought I could just climb, but maybe not. Nope. Doesn't look like I can get up that way. That's fine. I think I will potentially run over this way, although again, I'm gonna probably have to go like this, because this is a little basin. A little basin. It's massive. What are these things? Like, like 500 feet in the air? They're huge. So, to the south. And then I curve around. I don't- I wonder if it'll end with the thunder drum assault. Or, like, well, no. Yeah, because I'm gonna find the Damon stuff there. And potentially why the AI is being messed up and then go figure out the AI stuff. Nope, nope, not far enough. Like, go back to those... Let's see, there's this up here, too. Which is part of a side quest, but may, may, may or may not be part of a, the main AI thing. And what's over Oh, this is the camp at the base of the... Oh, and that's why this is still all cloudy. There's like... This is like the symbol for like a massive building, I think, in there. And the Hunter's Three... Potentially, if I go over here and get this pigment, it'll be easier to get up here. <laughs> instead of having to try to climb a 500 foot cliff. So I'm not quite to the bandit camp yet, but I will be taking out this control tower since I'm here. And it's not too terribly difficult to do so. But for now, I will call it here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I really appreciate anybody who's watching this, especially because I'm, you know, this is really late playing the DLC and I'm currently playing the next game. So it's just kind of weird. So anybody who's watching this, I appreciate it a lot. And I want to say a really quick thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Um, thank you so much for your support. And to my tree tier patron, Christopher, thank you so much for your support. You're really awesome, truly, and I appreciate it a lot. So thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.